In a land where women are killed, the old burn in their houses. Youth executed, babies killed, children are deprived from school and education, where life being a miracle for some, that is not far away from others. I have the chance to be alive and tell the story, the story in a book I am writing far away from my bloody land. Our story is a sad letter to the world, the coming of the broken heart of a child from the southwest region of Cameroon. My name is Miguel. I'm eight years old. I have three brothers, Junior, Mustafa, and Bubu. We are from Nyenge a small village in the southwest. Four years ago, a crisis began and thousands of people are dead. By God's grace, my parents are still alive. We are still alive. I am still alive. Many are orphans and some widows. Summer times in the dead silence of the night, my dreams are tormented. I dream about the cry of people, the horrible sound of corn, the houses on fire, the corpses that my eyes saw day and night everywhere along the road in my village. Most of my friends and classmates were killed in this brutal ongoing war. Our house was burnt. We ran to the bush, the only place where life is more secured, even living with snakes and scorpions. There, I spent one year in the bush with my family, facing the adversity of the nature. Rain, sun, and cold. The school in our village was destroyed. No one longer goes to school. For the teachers, some are in the bushes, some have abandoned teaching, and some are dead. What a bad news for the future of the world and for the future of the next generation. My brothers and I made more than two years without going to school because of this crisis. At this moment, where I am writing my letter to the world, I have cried all the tears of my body. You listening to my story or reading my book can cry with me. But after crying, take action to bring an end to this crisis. I'm still afraid of the people I don't know. I am traumatized by the people I didn't know killed the people in my village. I'm still a child. What have I done to deserve this? Being in a new environment gave me new friends, new neighbors, and a new life. Starting school again was not easy for me. I was in class two, but I have been sent back to nursery one by the school officer because of my poor level in reading and speaking, which is due to the two years of my life that I spent in the bushes without schooling. I'm not ashamed of that. For it is a consequence in which thousands of children like me are in too. I am working hard to do well like some of the IDPs who are performing well in school. Despite the financial difficulties, my parents are succeeding to send my brothers and I to school. It is not easy. At some time, 
We are driven away from school for school fees. Since September 2019, we went back to school. In the morning, I go to school. In the afternoon, I am at home studying after I have spent some time playing with my brothers. My dream is to become an engineer. But what about the dreams of all my friends who were killed? What about the dreams of all these thousands of thousands of children in the bushes? In our new lives, we still carry the trauma of what we lived. When we see a military man in a uniform walking in the street, we have to run to hide ourselves. My writing is a cry for help. We need help. It is a time to be conscious. From a safe zone in the central region, I am sending my letter to the world. We want to go back to our home and to our school. Miguel is my name. My story today, it's a call to you. It may be your tomorrow. I call for a ceasefire. I call for true dialogue. I call for peace. I call for the resuming of schools in the North and Southwest region. Never, never again should it happen in the world. Miguel. <laughs>